Warning, we will be talking about all seasons of The Walking Dead, including season 7. This is your one and only warning. Welcome to Playing Dead with your host, Afterburn and... Solston, the co-host? The co-host, yeah. Yeah. Yes, episode 9 of season 6. Seven. 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 Uh, right. We should really know what the season's I know. in the episodes. I know. I keep getting it mistaken with like, oh, the newest episode of Game of Thrones coming out of season six. So, But anyway, uh, this was the mid-season opener. And uh, not as action-packed as I expected a season opener to be, but it does set the stage for a lot of shit for the rest of the season. Well, when they were doing like the tour, like they went to the hilltop, then they went to the kingdom. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be another like get things moving. Nothing's really gonna happen. We're yeah. just gonna we're gonna get things going. The prepping plots. But then, and then in the second part of the episode, things kind of kicked up. There was a herd. They were stealing bombs for one scene. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it, it took some twists. Like the first thing I want to talk about is what the hell is Gabriel doing? Uh, I don't know. It's it's hard to say if he's got his own plan to go and do something to, to save uh, the entirety of Alexandria, or if he really is, as it was made to appear right at the beginning, that he's just kind of like leaving. But the fact that he left the Bible. Yeah, that he seemed like, like like he placed it there. Yeah. I, I feel like Rick fucked up. He went up. to the boat, and we're yeah. going to the boat. I feel like Rick may have fucked up by not uh, keeping the Bible open to whatever passage yeah. was open to, because I feel like that must have been a clue. Yeah, the same thing, like, you just had to read the passage to get get where he was going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, oh, we got to fight a walker here. Uh, well, that was easy. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I feel like a, a lot of the... Bitch. Oh, there's another one. I feel like a lot of the reason why he took all that food... Uh, was probably to stop Negan's men from getting most of it. Just like, okay, there's enough here to feed you guys for a little while till you come find me and we can go live somewhere secretive with all this food. Uh, although, if he's talking about the boat in the lake... But at the same time, how does he know about... Like, Rick even said it. How does he know about that boat? Yeah. How, well, he might know about it, but how does he know where it is? Yeah, he was never there. He was never told where it was. Um I don't even know if he was told that the boat existed. Yeah, I mean, it was just the two guys that went there. Exactly. Why do they have to, like, they wouldn't need to tell everybody what they did. They're just like, we got some food. That's all they need to know, right? It just, it depends on, I mean, the place that they are in the country right now, they're not really coastal. So they, it couldn't be, like, a marina or or anything like that. It's got to be a boat on a lake. And the only, only one we've seen so far recently is the one from the middle of that little pond. Yeah, wherever that was. Which is not going to house all of Alexandria. Like, maybe five, ten people, uncomfortably. Yeah. Well, like what you said earlier, it's like, is he just splitting, or is he? Is there something bigger happening here? Because they did make it look like he was just freaking out and just, just making a run for it. But he did also read a specific passage uh, in, in his Bible before leaving, and it seemed like a deliberate decision. He didn't seem panicked in leaving to me yeah i don't think he's splitting especially with no. uh, they had some of the characters feel like oh yeah he's one of us now you know he found his courage exactly so, uh okay next thing i want to talk about or uh, there was a brief scene with the hilltop and uh whiskey what you call him whiskey no balls uh fucking was, guy who's at it again and actually back that, to no that names whole, that whole no scene, real names yeah that whole scene made me think that because, like, after he's like, no, no, get the hell out of here. Take go out the back. I don't want to see you. I'm, and they go out the front anyway. I'm, I'm Negan's pet. But then all of the people there are like, you know, we're with you. Yep. So he's going to lose control, whether well, he likes think, it or not. I feel like he might betray the group. Probably. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want to lose his position as, uh, as, as like, yeah, ruling them. He'll want it to be known that even if his people don't, uh, don't follow Negan, he wants it to be known, like, hey, guys, I was with you this whole time. Take me in. I'll be loyal, and he just wants to. If he can't rule his own place, yeah, he'll at I least see, follow. I could see a, like a Spencer situation where he's like he's ratting on his own hilltop people, yeah. and Negan just kills him just because it's like, well, you can't even keep control of your people. Your people are, are all deciding to betray me, and you're just coming up here like a weasel trying, exactly. to, trying to save yourself. He does seem like the kind of character who it's it's surprising that Negan would have left him alive and in charge when he he's so much of a yes man. That it just it doesn't seem. I feel like maybe Negan hasn't even met him, like because he oh, seems like he be. deals with uh, with Stephen Ogg, right? Trevor it's, Phillips. It's 
just the Trevor character. I don't know what the guy's name is in the show, but he is he's just Trevor. He was great the in that episode. Doesn't. Yeah. Uh, he's like telling Rick to get his hatchet ready in case Daryl shows up. <laughs> yep. That's funny. In our last episode of Playing Dead, we were like, I was like, I felt like the nights that they had that we saw were all they had. And then, of course, in that episode, it shows like, like boot camp and yeah, training like 20 people and like jogging and, it's and just, people shooting weapons and stuff. It's like, okay, they yeah. got a little tiny army. I was wrong about that. <laughs> no, it's just perpetual Ren Fair. <laughs> Kids are just doing archery there. It's they'd have a decent uh, a decent force, um, although not many guns. They do seem to be a lot more you know medieval based. So they've got swords and and bows and shit, which could be effective against people it's with minimal than, to no guns. It I is mean, better than nothing. Yeah, but. or I mean, even like machetes and knives and stuff. It's like again, and I, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight really when it comes to taking on you. Exactly, but it's it's better than having nothing. And some of their guys do have guns. Like the the guy with the sword, yeah. Um, I think he, I saw a gun on him. So they're as def- well. they're definitely the uh, more the paladins the army or something <laughs> that that Rick needs. But of course, uh, the king. Uh, I I kind of thought he was going to agree, but yeah. I can see why he isn't. He just met Rick, and it's yeah. like I have a feeling he's going to still consider it. But he's saying no for now, and either Daryl's going to convince him later, or he, this is his whole plan to lay in wait. So that there'll be no semblance in the plan on the assault for Negan that there's going to be another group, and then they can just kind of sneak in surprise and and just decimate from a an unknown angle. But yeah, speaking of groups, uh, this was the the final scene in that episode. Uh, yeah, uh, they're looking for Gabriel, and then they just get swarmed by people. And yeah. It's like who the hell are these people? And it's like oh shit, well we're captured. But <laughs> if they they come in on Rick, Rick and he's smiles. smiling, yeah. and it's like he's like ah, more people for me to recruit. Yeah. You know, his thought is like these aren't Negan's men. This is good, but yeah, that's. The army or the group that swarmed them is definitely uh, of varying ages. Much I bet older. people that read the comics have an idea of who that group might be. Possibly. Like, oh, it's finally, the so and so's have shown up. Yeah, the the other wolf pack. Uh, wouldn't want the, wouldn't <laughs> want it to be the wolves. No. Uh, all right. Now, next point was the roadblock bomb for the herd, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Cutting it kind of close there, but Rick and they managed to take all the dynamite or explosives. There was there's some missiles there, and it makes sense though that uh, we haven't seen a horde kind of ravage the uh, the main areas of survivors. So it makes sense that a lot of groups have set up barricades and things like. Well, this. Negan seems like really like systematic and spread out, and it's just like that's just, yeah. You know, they're just like oh, a horde, and like, all right, we'll just do what we do. But yeah, so now. Uh, uh, Rick, uh, now they're up some explosives, which will come in handy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that scene of just like the you know the ghost ship moment. Of <laughs> well, the, just the line. Yeah. Cutting well, I wrote in, in my half. notes here: biggest herd kill combo like yeah. that we've ever seen. Like they 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 killed so many and the shots of that, and and like the how it would work if you were dri- like how cool it would have been to drive those cars in that scene. That would have been slick. But yeah, those those explosives will definitely be. Very helpful. I was really, really expecting a, a sorry spoilers here a lost moment. Yeah, I was just gonna bring that <laughs> yeah. up. Like I'm, I'm so you, nervous of dynamite from that lost scene. Uh, you got bit of art on you, <laughs> and he was like, he was the guy telling them to not worry about it. But yeah, the the dynamite they pulled from Lost was old. It was like from from some old pirate ship or something. Yeah, like that. something really old. So it was uh, leaking. Uh, what was it? It was leaking uh, nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. Yeah. Yeah. Those uh, sticks of dynamite, probably not as well put together, but pr- fresher, more, fresher, definitely. Mm-hmm. I was just expecting the one that uh, was rejected and was like, nope, that one's, I don't like that one that's got a neck in it or something. I was expecting that one to blow just up. Just blow her up. <laughs> so it's like, uh, it's funny, like, she, she was just all over that, like, military uh, experience, him, her and, uh, what's his, what's his, oh, Abraham. Abraham. Holy so. shit, he's been dead for half a season and you already forget him. No, I didn't forget him. It just it just Fuck. took me a second there. So soon we forget our fallen no. comrades. They mentioned his name three times in this episode, man. So it's that that <laughs> Sasha and there's like we just slept with the same dead man. We're not friends. <laughs> that's <laughs> our own shade. That's like that's a really harsh thing to say. 
Although I guess their life is harsh, so that's mild in comparison. Well, she, he did break up with her to get with her. So. Yeah, there, there'd probably be some a hurt feelings report to fill out there. Uh, yeah. Well, what what other points do no, we have those here? Those were most of my points. Oh, uh, shit. I, we because we kind of jumped over them. My next point was Trevor looking for for so, for Daryl for Daryl, which yeah. we kind of covered a little bit. There. It was smart of them to not have Daryl there, and it was also smart of them to not be overly um, accommodating. For the search, but also it's strange. Yeah. Uh, well, no, because it would have been suspicious if they're like, "Yeah, sure, we'll help you look for him." Then he, then Trevor guy would know, like, oh, "Okay, they know where he is. They know he's not here. This is this is bullshit." But uh, the way they played it out was pretty smart. Weird thing is though, then you you go to uh, you know you see the inside of a couple other houses after they've gone and smashed everything. Nothing's out of place or broken at all. Well, I feel like, the, yeah, the, the, you don't think he, he, apo- he said well, he was one of his parting messages was like, "Sorry, we couldn't clean up, or we left such a mess." I feel like we didn't see all the, they didn't show us all the, the, the like ransacking of searching for him. But just based on what we did see of the ransacking, any houses that have a bunch of unbroken shit probably weren't searched, mm. or it's just a, an oversight. I feel like I don't feel like. Uh, Negan's right hand man would uh, do a half ass search for Daryl. Mm. I feel it'd be like, well, maybe you know, you would search all the obvious places, and it's like, got a. He's the kind of guy who could get a read on on people. And yeah, and whether it's like be hiding if someone his house. he would kind of feel it out if the, a person was like nervous about him stumbling upon a Daryl hiding yeah. spot. It's it was just weird that they, they all were, the people knew Daryl wasn't there, so they knew they weren't going to find anything. Yeah, it was just kind of weird that his guys were knocking over bookshelves and turning over like small side tables. Well, that was just kind of like it, that's just, just being a dick. That's, that's just how oh, those people are. It, is he hiding inside my coffee table? It'd be or just Fuck be, you? It'd, be, it'd be like uh, uh, them searching Rick's house and going through Michonne's like panty drawers, just like no, well, Daryl's yeah. not there, but it's just like showing that hey, I can look through this. <laughs> Ooh, what are these? What are these? Nice hat for me. I'm going to smell all of these. So, what do you what do you think the rest of the season is going to play out like? Uh, well, actually, that you uh, reminded me of a point there. Uh, I was worried the 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 Gabriel thing, him running away, was just to kind of draw out our, our remaining seven episodes because mm-hmm. obviously the, they're not going to take on Negan until the finale. Exactly, and hopefully, it won't be another disappointing thirty second fight so, like with the governor. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I got to do some corrections and retractions there. We were talking about uh, season three, and we mentioned the sickness. I believe the sickness was actually uh, season four, because after season three, the governor, you're, you, you're that stuff you're you talked right. about, and then the sickness was the start of season four. Yeah, right? yeah, you're right with the the weird flu but strain. It, it's yeah. easy to get them mixed up because they're all all, the all in the prison. Are split in half, and it was all in the prison, and they're all related. Yeah. yeah. I think for the remainder of the season, it's going to be winning over the other communities, possibly discovering new ones, including this one yeah, that just exactly. showed up at the last. Well, I'm glad. Episode. I'm glad it's not like some dumb like three episode search for Gabriel, and then we'll then we'll uh, take on Negan. How come everyone forgets to tell the people that are meeting Ezekiel that he has a tiger? That's like the second time. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Oh, the tiger. Right, yeah. I to mention. Yeah. The the one really defining factor of the sovereignty here is uh, we keep forgetting that there's a giant predatory animal in here I have a feeling that uh, if the kingdom does go to war with Negan's men with everybody else uh, that tiger's gonna die yeah it's just gonna well, be gun right I, I feel like the, that, the budget they have to do is CGI it it's like, <laughs> they're like they might as well just bring in a real not, tiger they're not gonna keep, keep it's easy to write a tiger in a comic but it's like to keep that tiger in the show is expensive yeah Oh, I had to press all three buttons. I'm not used to In order? I wasn't ready oh for that. I, I thought it was just like an optional thing. Oh, so you want to go left, I just pressed, right or under? I just pressed one and that got me killed. This well, has been playing dead. Yeah. Episode so, one. Thank you guys for listening and or watching. And, uh, you know, subscribe to keep up with uh, the newest episodes every week. Uh, you know, a day or two after the episodes of The Walking Dead air. We'll be uh, coming out with these. Or what, um, what days do you, what days do you air? Saturdays? Uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, like Friday, Saturday, I try and get them out. Okay, so like just a few days before the next episode, these will go up, and uh, look forward to that every week until the end of the uh, end of the season when they go back to a uh, summer break. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. All right.
Bye, Bert. Turn into Bert there. Oh, Kermit the Frog. Uh, bye.